Good afternoon. Uh, I want to thank you all for staying through. I know it has been like a marathon. And um, I believe that at the end of the session, you would have been here more from the fields, I mean, the combined field, right? I think today we are delighted to have our personnel from the pension side of, of, the, of the business. And then we have our personnel from the insurance side. And we're also lucky to have someone from the investment side. So I think this, this is a tripartite function. And I believe as far as uh, if you yourself up with knowledge, you will not be to get the same. I think we don't need to be the same. I'm hoping that everything that I have to share here will not be on the same. And those are important things. It's good that you can put them on the when you go from Canada. You know, since it wasn't going very fast, then we need time for questions and answers. Is that okay? So if I get you, you want to know about investment, let's see my hand. Let's see my hand. Let's see my hand. Let's see my hand. Oh, you want to know about investment. Oh, what do you have to say to my guys? I don't want to know about investment. Can you tell them? Oh, don't you know? I'm just saying. Who's your own? You have to say something. Nobody is wrong. Who is on it? Okay, this is the type of investment. Just make one type of investment. One type like you Foreign direct investment. Foreign direct investment. Foreign direct investment. Okay. You said something? Yes. Tell you, okay. Who else? Alright, so in what I was coming, I thought that this one this one would be way above. So I didn't really come to talk about this. But since you mentioned it. So we have bonds, we have FT, we have some of the cryptocurrency, you know, we have the NFTs. Uh, and most and little plethora of them. We can go on and go on and go on. We have the, the, the common ones, the fixed deposits. Okay, that's issued by the banks, and then we have good push ones again, the very good issued by the government to find to finance their uh, budget deficits. We have a host of the corporate bonds, the ventures, a lot of them. Those are free to be too technical to even discuss. But what I'm here to do today, okay, my assignment here today is to prepare you for investment. To prepare you for investment. I want you to understand what money is all about. And I believe that if you are able to get a grasp of this, you can, I mean, you will be prepared to take any investment uh, um, adventure or avenue that come your way. Alright, so to begin, my name is George Daniel Borisio, I'm the head of sales and marketing for Capital Investment Management Limited. We are fund managers, or what we call the investment managers. Um, we, we, we specialize on taking your money and then communicating with the capital markets for your sake. So you have investment goals, you have investment plan, how do I achieve them? So I want to buy a car in the future, I want to marry in 10 years time, I want to move in, I want to put money aside. I believe that you understood it from the insurance point of view, where they said you protect assets. And then the person also prepares for retirement, we multiply assets. That's okay. So people like that, you don't get confused. If the banks were here, they would tell you they safeguard assets. Right? But we are in the middle of multiplying assets. Whatever you get, we are expected to multiply it. Alright? So that just gives you a um, uh, foundation for what we are about to discuss. Alright, so I, like I said earlier, I want to understand money. And before we go on, I want to look at five classes of financial education. Many of us, we are the lowest level of a financial life because we are not working. But I want to see what we can do to prepare ourselves. The moment we start working, how we can attract money, how we can multiply money. And we are saying that every day comes along with a bit of currency, which we call time. Time is what is given to everyone free. Okay? And I said that what? We are all doing 24 hours. Our success in life is not dependent on how effective we use the last eight hours of our day. Very, very true. Imagine your day starts from 8 o'clock in the morning. You go for less than more than that. You enter around 4 o'clock. That's 8 hours of work, right? And then you have another 8 hours between that 4 o'clock and then 4 o'clock. Now, your success is likely going to be dependent on what you use that last 8 hours for. That is what separates the boy from the men, right? Even when it comes to our academics, those who use that time very effectively. And it's most likely that they are going to be the top guys in the class. Between 4 o'clock and then 12 p.m. 12 a.m., sorry. So whilst you just go back to the hotel and watch them and sleep, those who bend the big life oil between that time, they always come talk. That'll be and the same for, for my business. Whatever you do 
you know, between 4 and then 8, when you are not working. Sorry, between 4 and then 12. When you are not working, your money must be working for you. Alright, so that's how we choose the process of investment. Also, you can also uh, reply that whatever you do your time for, in terms of side jobs, side business and all that, because after all you are done, you work. Most of the most of the coffee centers by four you are done. It is sent to somewhere fine for some institutions. So between that time and the job problem, it's not to make money. Whatever you do to make money is yours to do. Alright? And I said the second point for financial review, I said every writers have a greater potential of achieving their dreams. Any writers, please write them. All these things that I said, all these things you are hearing, they are hearing them at a very early age. Many of many, many have gone ahead of us and they are now in their forties and they are they are regretting they didn't get some of these advice. You know, they would have started that they very early. So any guys right, right, I mean they have a greater potential of achieving their dreams. And then we said, we said no, right, no, who that do here? We know you. We said play for the age of seven. It was very early. And then you're saying I don't know I wanted to be in the future. I was in class two. But this guy was already pursuing career at age of seven. And he began to agree, he began a professional career, blah, 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 blah. At the 17, he was already a professional. At the 29, he entered the list of 100 people. All right? This is what interests me. Today, it's not a salary of 200 million. But we think that we just started today. But it's not very early. It's not very early. So when you rise early, you have the, the, the potential, okay, to make your financial ambitions in life. You need to rise early. Many of us, we are about to what? I think the average age in this group, we are around 18 to 20, right? Now, at the 19, the, the founder of the the girl of which the girl of the girl At the 19, you are the founder of the little director of the company, at the 19. Alright, so one thing that what you are discussing here, you are too soft, like uh, uh, our, our customer was saying from the business side. I don't think that it is far away. No, 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 no. People are already talking to me. When they go to the tech industry, we have the little best, we start very early. So we need to start early, not think that it's too far away, okay? And yet we said the greatest time we said is the time that we started. And then we went going, we went going here. Everything that we are saying here, apply them now. Apply them now. Next. The money is like the fruits made of fruit and the seed. We eat the fruit and then we sow the seed. When you get money, you don't think that it's going to be a You eat something, you sow something. Seeds are not sowing. So any money you receive from today, tell yourself, any money you receive, half of it is yours to show. Okay, when I say so I mean investment, you have to invest. Okay, you don't take everything. Your financial life does not get better by chance, it gets better by change. Many a time we are just hoping for something to happen. We are just hoping. Okay, someone says, hope is best, that is cool. <laughs> they come by change, you have to change your mindset, you have to change your understanding about finance, about money. And that's how you can get the time. Say that what? You are, not, you are born looking like your parent, but you die looking like your choices. You are born looking like your parent, but you die looking like your choices. So every choice you make in life or your finances, when you die, you show. But that's why you are really you will be giving big estates and money to your, your, your descendants, those who are those who are coming to you. We'll see all those things, we'll see what that you They are able to effectively manage money. Alright? So we want to look at the pyramid of success. And we have said that the first pyramid of success for every person, you need to assess yourself when you go out. The first, the first level is the level of survival. Second level is the level of stability in our life. The third is the level of success. And the fourth is the level, the level of significance. And you look and understand it. And we are saying that this is the, the, the first level of survival. I mean the first, the first level of the pyramid is the level of survival. Many of us in this room are at that level. And it's not a sin to be there, but it's a sin to remain there. But for everything you've heard from here, if you still remain here till that day, it's not that result. Right? So you start from here, level of survival. Okay? And you say that the people who run out of money each month, they are mostly all the time in debt. Okay? They don't even have enough to cover everything without falling in debt. Okay? So this is the level of debt when you start like this, when you find yourself. That's okay. Next one. And then if you work hard, I mean, you get a good job, pay you some steady income. And you come to a level of stability or a level of financial stability. At this stage, at least you can take care of your family, take care of um, your needs, you are a bit more tough. It's not like when you were at the level of um, um, survival. It's, it's an hard period. Okay, yes, that's level of things. And then we have level of success. At this point, some will refer to it as financial independence. Okay, so that's your level of success. 
you have another security and you don't depend on salary, as uh, 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 a person from the credit side was saying, you don't depend on salary. This salary is cut off, you are still there, you, are still, you still have money from other sources. Okay? You can decide your business to choose, you have more than you have to support others. At this level, your, your, all your basic needs are met. Food, shelter, everything, medicine, whatever is met. You don't go, you are in good control over your financial life. Okay? And then they said, they said, they said, they said, self, they go to the spa, they go hiking, they put it in your places, and this is my challenge to them. And we come the last level, we say that these guys are at the level of significance. And again, some of the financial experts will say, these guys have financial freedom. So you can get financial freedom, you can get financial freedom. At this level, they say you have financial freedom, or you have the level of significance. And it's kind of like by have you have an easy access to luxury in the life of a traveler. I'm very careful here because we have people who are at this stage of their financial life, but they don't, they, they, are, they are not in luxury, they, they don't live luxury. Okay, for instance, if I mention one family, so this is the luxury, you don't see anything flouting or okay. But most we see these guys, you know, they have access to luxury. Alright? Their needs are not financial. If you really have a it's not financial, it's not about finance. Okay? And then usually they use their foundation and they provide money for research. So someone can give money out to you know uh, be able to do this research in Malaria and you know like the base foundation, a lot of them they have a lot of these foundations. So you need to ask yourself, know where you are, and then find out where you want to be, and then what steps you need to take to get to where you want to be. Is that something good? Say that someone wants to say, people took all the money in the world, and then they keep money among them for so they put back in the same pockets. Why? Why? Because those who are the money initially, they have some choices that they make to attract money, to attract goals, to manage money, to multiply it. And then all those people have money in their pocket, okay, those who have some choices that they make to lose money. <laughs> so until we went from those choices, we will still go around and go get back to the same old pockets. Please look at me. Alright, so it's very important because all the discussions we are having is about money. Someone might be there, I don't know what kind of money is important or not. For so someone, when you get to the that you think that's all. And it's more to money than this thing. So let's look at the basic thing of money. So, say that what? Money is a solution for both of life, basic necessities. Food, short time, health, speed. But let's end it. Let's go to the next thing. It says, when you have to touch life, then yes, you have to touch society. So, some of us about yourself. Making money or basic work of this, not just about it, but you also have a place in society to be significant. Is that what you Next one. They say money helps to become effective, money helps to redeem time. Imagine that you are living, there's a program at, uh, I met with Peter <laughs> at school, they were the same panel. Imagine that Peter, Peter, Peter came by flight. Imagine that Peter decided to go to the massive right? And he had options. You can either walk, you can either ride a bike, you can take a flight. This day they say they are bringing to the sea. So where is the to swim to the massive? So imagine that. <laughs> Imagine that you have all these options and you decide to work. Is that effective? No. If you have money, you pick a flight. But we can take what? Money. You understand? So money helps to redeem time. Because by the time you start to get there by swimming, if you are taking flights, I'm talking there, you start with nothing. You understand? So money is very important for yourself to redeem time. I know a couple of people who are ready for GPSA. I don't have a number of people who are ready for GPSA. But you can say, I know there was a lady some time ago. By the time she had completed uh, school, she had a CA, she had so many other things, the translation thing, and, and most of other things. She has to time because she had money to pursue all those courses. So she graduated, you know, first year, had all those other things. It's money. It's money. So money can help to begin time. Whilst we are coming out as a, what, a BSC graduate, coming to do for a job, she, the job was a CA, because she had now she has to begin time. It's money. So money is very important. Next thing. Okay, no, no. Money has to support two parties, religious, environmental, social. If your church wants to raise a check, you have money to support, right? Uh, if, I mean, something that is going to make the, the environment, you have money to support, so what? So money is very important in all these ways. Okay? Money can make you a better spouse, a better guidance. If you have money, your wife will leave you. Or you don't believe it. You need to be an effective spouse, and it takes money. Most of them, most of them, I mean, the reason why. <laughs> And uh, the marriage is bring a lot of money, the fact of money, the 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 part of that. So money is very important. And because we are going to be leaving school and uh, go to the working environment, we want to find out five things that you need to know before you take your first salary. Very important. I promise that today I'm not going to talk any financial advice. 
but I want to understand why. So that when you are ready to invest, you already have the attitude. So that will be. So you need to understand that you won't be paid salary forever. And I, like like my friend who has said, he has already tried on that. Salary, I want you to end. Okay, you won't be paid salary at the end. Never. At the point, if you don't lose your job, you grow old and salary will cease. Okay. You need to also understand income. Your salary is not equal to your income. These are various sources of income. Okay? From the salary, from the sale, from the business, and so on, and so on, and so on, and so It's also a business that can generate income. So you need to have a clear understanding of your salary and your income. That's one thing. So your salary is not your income, it's just one part of it. That's okay. Don't generalize in your mind that when you are a salary, you are receiving income. It's just one part of it. Income can come from so many sources. Okay, have a plan or a budget for how your salary will be spent. The people who buy don't receive their first salary, they go to the restaurant they've never been before. That's the first thing that comes to their mind, that's a priority. So you must have a budget for your salary. Okay, one of the one of the things you mentioned, uh, import buying, import spending and import buying. Please, when you receive your salary, it's not a time to buy the best things or to invest in the room. When you receive your salary, you don't need. So we have a ratio, people buy it. The one. Any salary or an income comes to you. We have a 70-20 test rate. Okay, change percent into your investment, 10 percent, and I mean, make it fast and try to be your time, you will be your arms, whatever it is. You are going to have any other money that's going somewhere. And then 70 percent of the money is going to depend on where you are working. Is that okay? Whatever that comes to you, there's a portion of the that you must keep. Because why? When money comes to you, what do you do? You buy bread. With all the money you give, you have to go to other people. That is not true. The only way money can stay with you is when you do what you will invest from. That is with you. And that is how people get rich. That is not true. You have to say, avoid lifestyle in places or lifestyle people. Okay? You don't become rich when you are salary. You become rich when you don't have to pay for this. That is when you become rich. You don't become salary. That is when you become rich. Because at that point, you have other income from the money. Except salary. Okay, so lifestyle is based on lifestyle is such that any time, for instance, you land a big job or there's a better source of income coming in, then you also do what? You inflate your lifestyle. Before salary pay, you write your bicycle to win. Now when salary, when salary pay more, you just have to buy a big company. Then another job of our company comes and then you buy a private. When you buy the all these things, you are only doing what? You are inflating your lifestyle. It's not of you. But they are matching your salary. They are always matching it. There is no for investment. Because they are always matching. So now what's my time? The very important part. Say so if you deliberate about your personal financial money, have a mindset. Make life choices that you can take you a step to that financial goals. Any life choice you make today, ask yourself, is it taking me a step to my financial goals? Uh as one of our data, the data you buy, is it helping you to take steps to your financial goals? When you watch what the Netflix and all those, is it helping you to I mean, attain your financial goals. So every spending you do, ask yourself that question. Ask me to keep you check. The day you feel like eating pizza, ask. Is it going to help you to attain your financial goals? No, it will then be not by it. Put first your needs before your wants. There's a difference between these wants. Needs are the essential. It's okay if you need them to survive. Wants you may not actually need them, but they just need the entire story. So don't spend on wants, spend on your needs. When you have a plan on our own, that's why you're holding it. You don't really need it. Alright? And I think one of our gentlemen took our next one. So I'll touch this. Make, make itemize your assets, itemize your activities, do the, the subtraction, and arrive at the next one. There are a, a lot of people who are just not found there. Alright? Don't borrow to consume. When you have your assets to feed your credit, and those things, some people borrow to make pages. Please don't do that. Don't borrow to consume. Is that okay? When you are robbing your future or some people, some past people in the future, they are robbing their opportunity to use that money. So don't borrow to consume. Is that okay? Big loan. Identify good debts from bad debts. Okay? And I've made, I've made it look like, okay. Profit is when you return on investment. It's higher than the cost of capital. The cost of assessing that debt. If it's lower than the profit you are going to make from utilizing the, the, the debt. Then you have become profitable, what you are doing is profitable. But if how you apply the money is costing you more than the profit you are going to make from the usage or the utility of that money, then you are, you are at a loss. Let me explain to you. You didn't win. 
You understand? So maybe that your, your text file that you can not say you take it this is bad. You can be very good with this one. That's okay. But I don't take it on this one. For most of the time, it's also that I'm going to take it off. Because this is where you learn things that are not directly taught from the class. Okay, so focus on investment development, learn to maximize, learn a business to, to maximize your potential and your capacity. Okay, don't depend on salary alone. There are other avenues that you can pick up too much to maximize your earning potential capacity. These days, there are digital skills that you can acquire, there are big, I mean, data analytics skills. There are so many that you have so much time. I mentioned the last eight hours. You can utilize those hours to learn. To prepare yourself for the for the outside world. Because why do you want to go to the, the banks these days? So we are required for some of these clothes. Because of that difference you have uh, I mean from another person, you end up being paid more or even being chosen for a job. So that additional skill that will earn you additional income. Someone is selling you a good skill you can also learn how to purchase it themselves and, and put it from the budget. It's also very good you can do it that. But at all costs, make sure that your salary is no longer the only source of income. Hand out with financially wise people. Say that what? So that the average of the five other people you are meeting with. So all those people you are meeting with, make sure that they are wise people. Otherwise, you always take to the Always. If there's no one checking you on uh, 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 on import buying and spending on wise people. You always, uh, you always don't have money to go, to invest. And then learn more about money. Learn more about money. That's why we have to this stuff. Learn about money. So to put this in perspective, I just want to talk about one of our products to help because, I mean, I've said all, all these things. What I get money, how do I invest? There are so many avenues that you can invest in this money. But for starters, we request that you do investment in the uh, uh, mutual funds. Okay, and what we're going to do is a fund. The mutual fund is a pool of investment, okay? That means, I mean, one person wants to invest, another person wants to invest, you all want to invest, put all your money together, and then you decide on how to manage those money. That's the mutual fund. Alright? So all of you have the same uh, 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 investment objective, you have the same investment uh, 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 term or duration or maturity, you have the same risk. We put all of you together and then we said that if all this money we are going to invest in charity or all this money we are going to invest in the bond. That, that's what we call the future fund. So because we are starters, uh, we ask you to what? To invest in the previous the, the, the Yeah. We ask you to invest in the Apple Account Prime Fund. Alright? So the Apple Account Prime Fund is for starters like us and all you need to invest is UTC but because we are all students and we are very for the first time. We are saying that in 20 cities you can invest, alright? Now to the next time. Okay, the ladies are there to help you, those who are ready to start an investment in 20 cities. And I believe I've been that you don't want to do some amenities. I think they use 80%. We are looking at doing 25% per annum, holding everything to go, alright? We are saying that if you can do, um, let's say 20 cities, okay? All throughout the year, month on month basis. In 10 years time, you can make a lot Someone will say, ah, 10 years, baby. Okay? After school, 10 years, I don't know. There are people who don't have this, I think they are not. I think it's a long time ago, 20, 30. 10 years was last year. But there are people who still don't have this money, they are not. So don't say that 10 years, and you want to know how, how long 10 years is. Imagine when uh, the Nando came to power. It's not like this year. That's how long, that's how long or short 10 years will be. It's only eight years. But I remember that yesterday. Imagine that from then I've been putting 50 dollars this somewhere. You know, we're not spending the money on shower. I've been hiding the money somewhere. Today, I can have something like this. You understand? So 10 years is not so far away. Is that what okay? But again, you can't rely on this, uh, this, this an estimation. Okay, of course there could be a economic factor that will affect the uh, the estimation. Okay, that I don't know. But we just need a snapshot of what you can make over a long period. Okay, applying the compound interest to something. Okay, this is the next method. So in conclusion, we have said that what have an emergency account. Okay, between three to six months of the salary. So assuming that every month we take down fees or two thousand, the emergency account is just 2,000 cities per month by 3, that's for 6,000. 
So between 6,000 and 12,000. That doesn't mean that most of them don't spend the money. Maybe they are putting all the money for the salary in that account too. They are giving a snapshot so that you can scale your wealth to that point. At that point, you take that one. And you make it start. Ah, why do you need that account? Anything can happen. You can probably make up that money. You need that money to spend. Those who are doing how to work, you need that money to work, you need to put your money to, to what? To sell, to make money. But if you have a legacy account, you can make better decisions with your money. You understand? You can fall on that. When you deplete it, you, you start building it again. Alright, that is why it's important to have an emergency account. Instead of plan for education, plan for it. Plan, it's all about plan. Plan for it. And we gave you a guide to that thing. You know in five years you're doing your master's. Plan, this is the time that any money that comes in, put some aside. That's what Plan for option. Please spend more days or whatever. So do the whole thing. You need to plan. And I like the example of one of our gentlemen needs. Because many, many of the time, when we want to build, we think about the building, you know, we think about the building, and we see big, big mansions. And through that, we want to build up the entire career life to build up there. By the time you finish building, you are going to take them with more you want to stay there. Because they want to marry you. So who are you going to do? Alright, so when you want to build, look for something here, something that, I mean, if you have two kids, I mean, two, three people, the lady should be one, the guy should be one, like that. And then they go to the house for you. To become an empty nest. Okay, so if you always chat so much, you don't know, you know, you take so much time to build, you will not even be able to start. Alright, you can all be able to build. And then think about the generational world. Anytime you receive money, think about the people who are coming after you, the children's children. When you really think about those things, you will not be able to invest more. Because you know it's not worry about you. You are looking at those who are coming after you. Also, learn to give back. Is that okay? And we have Alright, so like I mentioned earlier, the fund management and the investment management firm are aligned by the National Banking Regulatory Authority and then the Security Election Commission. And we are really at this event and our branch office is at school. So at this point, I want to thank you. I believe that there were many questions.